So your PC is idling at 90% CPU usage, your memory usage is off the roof and you find some shady stuff happening on your computer. Your first thought, are you hacked? My name is Adullah, you're watching Candidate Technology and in this video we're talking about how you can analyze malware infections onto your system. Before we get started, you need a few tools that either need to be pre-installed onto the system or you need to have them on a flash drive and then move them to the system that you're going to analyze. Now, we've already covered these tools in our top 5 free security tools video, so go check that out if you haven't already. But just to recap, we are going to use PE Studio, which is a software that you can use to analyze malicious PDFs, EXEs, or just about any sort of file that you want. We're going to use Process Explorer, which is a Microsoft tool, which is essentially task manager on steroids. And we're going to use a network monitoring tool like uh, TinyWall or the Komodo Firewall. Now, these are both firewalls that can also monitor your network. And if you know how to use Wireshark, why are you watching this video? In any case, let's get started. So as you can see, I have a Windows 11 here installed in a virtual machine. And the first thing that I'm going to do is to disconnect this from the internet just so we're safe and I don't accidentally end up uh, infecting my host machine. Now, once that's taken care of, I'm going to go ahead and uh, open up my malware sample library just so we can find something to uh, run. So uh, this malware library comes from the zoo, which is a GitHub repository for uh, a bunch of different uh, malwares uh, and binaries that you can find and study on. So as you can see, I have uh, Android rats, I have ransomware, I have uh, Trojans. So I'm going to run uh, the Dexter Info Stealer. Now Dexter Info Stealer is something that Windows can already detect and stop right when you're trying to use it. Okay, so uh, as you can see, Windows security is currently uh, running and functioning. It wants me to sign in with Microsoft. That's not going to happen. But uh, this all seems to be working at the moment. So I'm just going to close this and let's extract this binary. Uh, extract all is right here. It needs a password. All right, so now you can see that I have uh, two malware files here. And as soon as I open this folder, Windows security can find the threats. And if I click on this notification for more details, which doesn't seem to be working, but now it did. You can see that it detects the file immediately. And it is the Win32 Dexter malware that we were uh, trying to run. Now I am going to disable antivirus protection because at this point you have already been breached or that's what you think so how are we going to investigate a malware that's already running on the system well let me just go ahead and disable real-time protection just so we can demonstrate this rather easily all right and if it's turned off i'm just going to delete this folder and extract this again so delete it Come here, extract all, go to extract, and here we are. So as you can see, no more detection from Windows now, and this is an isolated uh, thing, so we should be able to get it to run without any problems. Now before I start, I'm going to run uh, PE Studio. Now PE Studio is a software that you can use to analyze executable or just about any file that you have. We've already talked about the software in our top five free security tools video. So go ahead and watch that if you haven't already. Okay, so let's get the info stealer window open. And now I will just drag and drop this file into the studio. So now this has already started scanning all of the different files and uh, virus total is offline because we rescinded this PC's internet connection. So uh, here we get our first 32 hex bytes let's go ahead and give it internet again just so it can run virus total as well network I'm going to go ahead and click on that click ok and uh, we should get an internet connection any second now all right here we go okay um we're already seeing heightened processes so let's just close this run pe studio again and let's analyze this file 
once more this time with internet connectivity to see if virus total catches anything uh, do keep in mind that i haven't ran the file yet and as you can see it crashes pe studio and this is crashing pe studio over and over again which means pe studio is running into something which is uh, which the program can't parse which is not a good sign so at this time i'm just going to fire up tiny uh, wall have it show connections and have it show blocked connections actually so as you can see p studio is being blocked by the firewall actually we'll just go ahead and unblock this run p studio again and this is really the benefit of having a firewall just so you can go ahead and uh, not be hit in the head with programs that aren't exactly legitimate and as you can see virus total score uh, lights up red so uh, 66 out of 72 detection engines flagged this file as malicious and it is the win32 dexter info stealer that we are seeing being used everywhere so at this point if you know what file caused the initial infection whether it was a malicious pdf a suspicious exe file or anything like that you can just put it in pe studio and have it uh, show up here so this will give you a good idea of where the infection started from now uh, if you've ran that file on your system chances are you have been compromised at this point so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to open up a uh, change i'm going to click normal protection in recommended mode i'm going to click on show connections so these are all the connections that are currently running on my system so sorry these are the blocked connections if i show active i only have system and svc host running and these are all my open ports so let's go ahead and run this executable file and give ourselves a malware infection i will also uh, enable the show block apps just so we can get an idea if this server tries to connect to anything so i'll double click on this to run and defender still found a thread i click on dismiss current threads just going to allow this on device and at this point we've given ourselves a malware infection so how do we find this out so if i go to show active connections uh here we are well you can see that i have some suspicious processes running here sending data to a remote ip address so this is our firewall just to get a second opinion i will also open up uh, process explorer okay so here we are and uh, now in here we can see all of the different processes that are running so let's quickly go ahead and uh, run a virus total scan for everything that's on our system as you can see all of these hashes have been submitted and now they just need to run and we need to find out which connection which running process is causing a problem and while you're here you can also check what is using your cpu so much so system idle process is using our system 73% right now and there is nothing else running this is a clear indication that there is some sort of uh, malware active on your system okay let's open up pe studio again once let's i'll quickly drag and drop this file here for another quick detection so now let's take a look so this has the microsoft linker 8.0 uh, signature on it and if i go to process explorer before my machine crashes completely we can go ahead and search for that particular process in here here we go this just showed me one red spike okay let's run virus total again click on submit unknown executables so even in its default state windows actually does a great job of finding and killing off any uh, malicious processes that you might find 
you don't necessarily uh, have to see them running in the process explorer you can just use p studio to analyze malicious files the only thing is if you've run that file already then you're pretty much in trouble because if i open up a tiny uh, wall you can see that we have clearly blocked this activity and now it's causing mouse failures on my system so uh process explorer is being blocked currently and uh, my virtual machine is struggling to run because of the system load let's quickly go ahead and unblock process explorer as well this is exactly why i recommended that you use komodo in my top five security programs list because a uh, tiny wall can sometimes be really really strict in terms of how it uh, deals with programs so now as you can see we have uh, our detection scores in here we can go down this list and we can see that our malicious process is no longer actively running on this system there's only one malicious file that's potentially malicious file that's running on this system which is the text input host and everything else seems to be running or being flagged by virus total without any issues if i go ahead and just let me check if the submit and non-executables is checked on yep that seems to be working all right great so now even if i run this malware again and again uh, windows will just block it out of itself because at this point it has clearly identified the malware and has frozen up my virtual machine so basically this is the default process of you figuring out where the infection started figuring out whether or not you have uh, malware active on your system you run malicious files through pe explorer or virus total or any sort of de uh, detecting engine and once you do you can uh, make sure that you first delete the file and then you can start the recovery process for your particular system anything like really high idle loads or when your system is not active or when your system is idle can also indicate uh, malware activity um, network activity which uh, doesn't you know which isn't recognizable for example you can see that cpu usage is 98.3 percent there the malware is still running somewhere in the background but we can't spot it except this one malicious text input file which only has been flagged by one engine. So if I open it up, you can see that only secure age on virus total has flagged this file and everybody else was unable to process it. Uh, now, if I go to summary, text input host.exe was the file that got flagged. And this is essentially how you track down a malware chain. Now, um, this virtual machine is dead and uh, the only way of making sure that you can fully fully recover from a malware infection is to completely wipe your hard drive use a linux distro boot up into your system try and find um, your data if you can back it up and once you have just wipe the drive do not take any risks with disinfections they may or may not work and if they don't work you'll end up giving up all of your data to the attackers again of course since we ran an info stealer this also means that you need to have some sort of uh, password resetting structure in place as well start with your password mo uh, manager if you use one and then move on to changing all of your social logins so like google microsoft xbox whatever it is that you use you need to go back and reset it and then you need to clearly completely wipe off your system and that's that that's how you can avoid falling prey to a malware infection if you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we do for you. And if this didn't help you out and you require an extra bit of help, consider getting our membership. Follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter, visit our website Candidate Technology for more tech info and we'll see you in the next video.